Hello, welcome from uh, the Chateau de Colombe, where I believe the clouds try to drown us. <laughs> right now, it's all about the renovation of the second half of our Langère, so that's the long farmhouse, and where we started the renovation of the second part of it. Bonsoir à tous, bienvenue à Genève de Chateau de Colombe. Uh, C'est le commencement de la rénovation de la Langère, la deuxième partie de la partie de la Langère. Und nur zu, zu unserem Deutschsprachigen von, äh, von Cologne, wo ich bin der festen Überzeugung, die Wolken haben versucht, uns zu ertränken. Wie dem auch sei, nach 24 Stunden Dauerschütteln Regen. Ähm, wir haben angefangen mit der Renovierung vom zweiten Teil vom Bauernhaus. Das ist das lange Bauernhaus, wo bis 1960, irgendwann in den 60ern, äh, noch eine Familie drin gelebt hat. Okay. Okay. <lacht> Yeah, so uh, as Patrick said, this is the second part of our Langer, uh, the farmhouse here at the Chateau. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'd already uh, renovated the first part. Uh, we still have a little bit more to go because we started, as you know, we <laughs> re <kidding>. remodeled <laughs> the bedrooms to have be different sizes. So we have a bit more to go, which, you know, we will be, you know, we have getting that eight done days left soon. to get this yes. done. Eight days. Right. And the rest, so the same. Right, but and in the meantime, we're also uh, just getting a start on the second sheet, which yep. is part of the same building. to talk about the future living room and the, the, the current access to it. Right, so just a, just a little bit about the layout of our second sheet. It also is a two bedroom sheet. Yes. Right, and it has a room that was uh, obviously before was the kitchen. Uh, and the size of it looks like it might've been Eden kitchen or yep. kitchen dining table. It has two rooms that are going to be the bedrooms that mm -hmm. we're going to have. And then it was sort of missing uh, it's a living room. A living room, <laughs> right. So the way that, and you'll see from the diagram, the way that these were a little bit odd is that there was a room that was between the two sheets that wasn't really easily accessible from either sheet. Well, one of them, it wasn't accessible at all. And the other one, it was sort of a hobbit door that you had to go through to get to it. Yes, although I have to say, one of our patrons, Margaret, said, that door is just my height. <laughs> and Margaret is not a hobbit. <laughs> and it's not, it's not just, it wasn't just the size of the door. It was also because it would be, if we were to make it into a living room or, or a bedroom, you'd have to go through yeah. someone else's bedroom to get to this room. So it just wasn't convenient to put it with the first sheet. No, now, but not, not with today's standards. I mean, in right. the old days, we have two bedrooms where you walk, they, they are bedrooms, but you walk through them and that was perfectly normal. But I, most people who would want to rent a farmhouse today on Airbnb wouldn't say, ooh, that's fantastic. <laughs> right, yes. So uh, so we had decided that, you know, it would work out perfectly to have this middle room actually be with the second sheet because then it would have the access for a, a nice living room. It has a chimney that we can actually put in some sort of a, of a wood burner or a yep. fireplace in it. And it actually has a staircase to access to an upper level where there is already plumbing to put in a bathroom. Yes, lovely, however. Right, so one of the first things that we had to tackle is, is that we have to figure out how to join that living room to the second sheet. Yes. And we asked Tony for some help too. Yes.
just went through there. I mean, you can see there, cut there like that. But that's that diamond blade yeah. on there. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. Sorry. <laughs> I'll have to beep that out. So that, that's it. Never edit it. Yeah. See how smooth that is, that stone that is when it's cut like that. But, you know, the, 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 but when you look at this, that is not your regular tuft stone. No. Not. That's from a quarry where they have really hard stones. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish the cut and then I'm going to back out that much all the way around and then I'm going to go back in with the diamond blade again. Yeah. Right, so it's just like kind of layer by layer. Yeah, just heat yeah. right into it. Because where are we are, as you know, we are this far in. What? What interesting and not interesting. Ooh. Okay. Interesting is it's been pointed with, with lime mortar. Right. But the whole thing is built on mud. Mud and straw. As you see. It's pure compost basically. Right. Yeah. There's nothing else holding it up at all. Yeah, so that means this wall goes back way, way before the oh, chateau yeah. was built. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. So what we've got to do now, I was hoping that, obviously, I was hoping the wall that was put together with uh, sand and cement or lime mortar, which is fine, and I was hoping that as the, the stones are interlocking, it would have self-supported itself, but it won't. No. Not, not now. So what we've got to do is I've got to put in a, a lump of steel across here and one the other side mm -hmm. and put studding right the way through Yeah. and actually sandwich this. It's handy this has been um, uh, rendered mm -hmm. because it's a nice flat surface and I should put them two steels and that will squash this wall Yes. on itself. Uh, we're we're going to lose a few bricks, don't get me wrong, but at least it's not going to collapse. Right. <laughs> and right. and if, if we did go up there and we kept banging it and banging it, it would. You see how fragile it is. Mm -hmm. And that's what we've got to do. And I can't put what they call like strong boys, which are at crows and a, a bit of metal points in, but they're only this long. It's, it's meant for normal walls. Yes. And this wall is 700 mil wide. So How much we, is that in feet? Uh, so that is, that is there. It's so it's 300, so uh, 300 a foot, it's uh, about two and a half two feet and a half. wide. Wow. Yeah. Oh yeah, a little bit longer. So this was here when the when the Hundred Year Wars was fought. Oh, quite yeah. <laughs> <It> was, uh, <laughs> Maybe there are bullets in there. Oh no, wait, they had arrows. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that that's is it. A... And that's it. So I can't do any more, more here today because I don't want to disturb any more because it's going to start cracking up here. Correct. Yes. Yeah. And I want that to be secured. So that's what I'm going to put five, five meter long studdings through here, up here, along here to take this, to stop this from collapsing. And it's basically then, yeah, as you said, it's squished so tight it can't move. Absolutely right. I shall ram that up so hard with a spanner. And it's it basically just stops the whole thing yes. from moving. Mm -hmm. As I said, we're going to get a few bits, but that, that doesn't matter. But I mean, who... I... And, then, uh, and then what we'll do is, once we've got all this out, it's going to come out rather more easily than I expected, as you can see. Well, right, that, yes. That, that, is... that part, yeah. That part is good. Yes. But I was expecting not that easy. <laughs> So then what, we'll do is, is, then what we'll do is I've got some box section um, back at my place and we've got two, I can't, and you normally you, 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 you'd section your, your lintel in here. Yes. Correct. But I can't do that because it's going to keep coming down. Yes, and that's so, exactly, if we would have done this, that's yeah. what I would have done. Yeah. And then I had a slight wall collapse. Yeah. Yeah. And that's exactly what I would have done yeah. and everything in the middle would have collapsed. Right. So what we do is we get... Three bits of 100 by 80 by 80 box section welded together. And then once we've got this up and all this out, I'll put this in up against that, around that up there. And then we'll put two metal posts 
back down to the foundation. Um, yeah. And that's, mm -hmm. that's sound. And then we just make good with sand and cement off. Yes. But yeah. I wasn't expecting that. It, no, and I mean, and look at the size of the stones too. Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely right. Wow. Yes. Wasn't expecting that at all.
So here we are thinking, or were, were, past tense, uh, thinking that, okay, so it's a wall, it's, um, be, you know, just between two buildings and um, little did we know. So that wall is about 12th, 13th century because it was actually built with mud and not render. So it's not like burnt lime and, uh, and sand then mixed with uh, water and then just, you know, hardens. No, this was um, straw, mud, mm -hmm. and most probably some cow poop. And uh, that, that's the wall. And the older the building, so the, the taller the wall, the thicker it had to be at the bottom, right? So it, to, to make it stand. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we did not expect that, did we? We didn't. <laughs> and we were very, very glad that Tony was there because Tony actually knew what he was doing with uh, reinforcing that structure. Yeah, so what yeah. we would have done, which we did here with the door from the kitchen to the uh, yeah, kitchen, you know, you just channel out a bit, you put in a header, and then you take out everything below. Makes total sense, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, mm -hmm. so uh, that wouldn't have worked with this wall because of the way it was constructed and the materials used. So, um, hurrah, Tony, it was great. And so we now have, it was, and it was great teamwork. We had a lot, we had a lot of laughs um, mm. and some swear words. Yes, there were, there was a beep that was, that happened in that video, by the way. Yes. But anyway, so it's, uh, the building is much, much older. So most probably from the time when this was, all of this belonged to a monastery before they sold it. Um, that's where our sellers are from, the, the 12th or 13th century. Mm -hmm. And so we, we got through mm -hmm. and it's, uh, the, the, the walls look so nice. And we're going to finish them up and not render them. We tuck point them so you can see all the stones. Right. And then Stuart said, let's put um, the, well, recreate the floor with stones we took out of the wall. And how was that? Yeah, uh, I thought that was a, a great idea since we had decided that we didn't want to hide the, the walls or anything. I mean, actually having the stone walls show is going to be really beautiful there. It's gorgeous. In the, yeah. In the, in, uh, in part of the of that jeet, there are already tomet floors, and we are planning to actually just keep those as they are. We'll clean them up and reuse them as they are. Yeah. Right. And we will need to redo the flooring in the, the large living new living room. That well, we, that... that well, you don't love it? <laughs> I don't even know what that floor was. <laughs> but it was very modern. Uh, Press cardboard. Pretty much, yes. So we'll be, that'll be fun. We get to uh, decide what we want to do, and we get yep. to pick a new flooring for that room as well. Well, good for us. So <laughs> that is the beginning of the second sheet. It is. Right. Yes. Still quite a bit of work to do, but at least we're started. Yes, and so in the next four weeks, we, well... We have to finish the current sheet uh, with all that goes with it. Um, our living room is done. Thank goodness. I mean, that's one thing. But the two bedrooms, we're working on that mm -hmm. every day. The bed and breakfast room, because in the, uh, we have uh, our patrons, um, a couple of our patrons coming mm -hmm. to stay in that sheet. So it's not available yet on Airbnb or for rental, but they have... Um, book the trip and they're going to be our first visitors here, which is um, fantastic. Mm -hmm. And we have many more patrons coming actually in um, in May. So it's it's absolutely fantastic. So it's wonderful to get to know people and to meet them in person. So, uh, and I, I can't even tell you how um, grateful we are for so many new subscribers that we are really not that far away from 30,000. Yes, thank and you. That's fantastic. Thank yes. you so much. Yes. Uh, just a quick note. We do have a few new items that are behind us that we got. So, oh, yes. So these are not these are not new auction items. These are actually auction items that Patrick was finally able to go pick up. 
some of the auctions that we've done in the past, when we win the auction, not all the items are always in the same place. Sometimes when you win an auction, yeah. you have to go to multiple cities or wherever to pick things up. So yep. we finally were able to pick up these items. Uh, one of them is this platter that's back here. Yes. Lovely. And the other one is this lamp. With It's like a cobalt blue lamp that's... Uh, it's our Art Nouveau that uh, Patrick just loved it. So, yes, and we, it, well, it, it is an amazing cobalt blue and beautifully done. And um, I have not yet, but I will by the time uh, this airs, have sent a picture of this to Vivian and Simon. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it for this episode. If you like, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe and recommend us to your friends and you can share it as a share button so it goes to people you think might be interested in our crazy little story. And if you want to support the renovation of the chateau, you can join us on Patreon. Or buy us a coffee. And we will see you on Friday. Absolutely. Au revoir. Au revoir. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please use the like feature to let us know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our Journey to the Chateau YouTube channel if you would like to see more. Once you've subscribed, you can tap the notification bell in order to ring it, which will allow you to receive all notifications from our channel. Thank you.